heading full speed in the lane, still getting it. Hey guys, PC Gamer 247 here, and we're back with another uh, modding thingy. So, yeah, um, I got my 12 out on my desktop here, copied it over. Because we're going to need to put this onto here, we're going to replace the model of the 12 valve with this, and then we're going to, you know, adjust everything, which is horrible. But you could obviously copy the XML stuff and all that over to here and then do it that way, but this way is way easier, and I mean, yeah, you're not going to need a lot of stuff, but you can, I mean, if you can get this working, you can try and do the other stuff too just doesn't always work if you miss one little line so yeah we have our 12 valve we have our truck I'm gonna copy our truck i3d file thingy over to here we have our truck right there now if we open up our 12 valve still work in progress but um, we can see we have all the stuff here and what we don't need though is somewhere in here there should be a viz, 12 out viz, right here. Um, you can go and import the uh, desktop, thank you, um, in your 12 out for it, there we go, or your whatever mod you're using. Uh, it should be in the truck. Import your truck in. It's your truck scene right there. Uh, I'm going to delete this light. And this truck right here, I'm going to go control X or cut it and find our 12 valve is and I'm going to paste it inside of that so now what I can actually do is I can completely delete this we don't need that anymore uh, those walls and stuff I can make those invisible right over here I'm not going to need those at the moment I'm not going to teach you guys how to do interior. It's pretty much the same thing. You're just going to have to move it in. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you're not going to need. Just to, it's just for that certain model that it needed. Anyhow, uh, we have our truck here. So we can move that into place now, which actually it's fitting quite well. So yeah, there you go. You have that. Now, you're probably going to have to put axles in if your truck didn't come with axles or your whatever. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a truck every time, but yeah. So I'm just going to move this plate down. Uh, this, you know, it's going to need a lot of adjustments and stuff. I'm just showing you the basics. So I have uh, my stacks in here. Where are my stacks at? Are they in the... Oh, they are on the same thing. Cool. So I can move these up, down. Move them right there. I'm not going to move the slight bar because if I do, then I'm going to have to move all of these... Yeah, so you're going to have to change all these lights to move them where you want them. Which you do that by finding light deco, I think, decoration. And you got to move all of these to where you want them. I'm not going to do that because it's just going to take forever. Um, let's see. I want to make this invisible. Where's that? Oh, those are right there. Okay. Invisible. Make this whole thing invisible. I cannot. Okay, those are all invisible now. Where's that? Oh, okay. Uh, we have this right here. Our little mental logo. Oh god. Should be at the bottom. Yeah, this is gonna be 
really weird. This hookup over here, okay. Well, that's already in the bed really well. Move that down. Okay. If you want to change your attacher joints, um, whatever one it is, I think it's this one, in here, you're going to have to move that to the right area, so that's just going to have to go down, but, yeah. Same with exhaust particles, you can move those, that's really tedious, though. Um, and the mirrors are just going to have to stay there for now. I want to remove that, there it is. Okay. I'm just going to put it here, even though, well, it's going to sound like it in-game. But there we go. Uh, it's still off. There we go. Okay, so that's what we have right now. We can move the wheels in. Remove them wherever they need to be. And if you're going to move them up and down, you're going to have to change the radius on the wheels. So, more radius is going to look off the ground. But, move these. In. Um, When you're doing this, it's easy to actually copy this over here. Put it right here. Just leave the negative in. On this one, though, I think, this uh model or whatever is a bit messed up, but we'll just keep it like that. Just to make it easy. How far in did we have it? Right there. Alright. Cool. So, that is that. I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Okay. So if your truck is like, the wheels are in the ground or they look flat. Like if that was the ground right there, or wheels are in that far in, you'd have to increase the radius, which I'll show you how to do that. But if they're above, you're going to have to decrease it. So, I'm going to save that. And, you'd have to go into your XML and change on the wheels, all of them, you have to change all of them. To get it to go out of the ground, you're going to have to change this up. So, whatever, you got to keep messing with it. If it's above the ground, you have to change that down, that radius, for all of all four of them, or if you have more wheels than all, all of them. Okay, so I'm going to rename this to just truck. No, no, I don't want to do that actually. Um, I'm just going to drag that in there and rename it now. There we go. So truck, um, I have a custom mod folder thing. Just put it in your mod folder. Put it right there. And... There we go. So now we have that. You can change the store image by just going down and opening that up and inserting your own image. But it's just going to look like that for now. Same with the name. Actually, we'll change the name to make this easier. You can change all this. I'm just going to name it Truck. Do this for all of them. We're not going to do that. And right here, I think, is where it actually changes in the store name. So make sure you get that. You can change the brand of it. and Yeah. If what happens if we take off this is diable, I think that'll fix a problem that I'm having. Right, and now we gotta launch farming sim. Uh, so I will cut into that, and yeah. All right, we're back, and we'll just open up a. Westbridge Hills map. Okay, good. I was like, I'm not gonna have more money to buy it. And sell this stuff. That's easy. 
Okay, so once this loads up, I just realized I have a benchmark mode now in the options. Normally, I don't play in windowed mode, so I had to change it. I didn't know that. Check that out. Apparently, I have VSync enabled too. Gotta take that off. I want more than 60 FPS. Oh, it's loaded. Okay. I don't care. Alright, go to our garage and let's sell everything just by hitting enter. You probably won't have to do that. There we go. Now everything is sold. We have 208k. Okay. Let's go to our mods, and our cars, and our truck. There it is, buy. And as you guys can see, it bought because, yeah, we just... Shut up. Alright, so we have our truck here now. The wheels are turning everything because, yeah. So, it looks super derpy right now with this bed on it. But you can always play around with those textures and stuff. I think you can even put like an actual texture from real life in there. Or an, a picture, but it's got to be a good one, obviously. You have to play around with that. I don't do that much. But the wheels are pretty much good because we didn't move them up and down or anything. They're already set up pretty well. Or chrome. i got to get into the light to see that. Chrome. Let's see, chrome. Obviously, it's really dark yet. But... You can play with the refractive and stuff to get that perfect. But, still got the same sound, same everything. Interior? Ooh, it's actually already almost set up. It's interesting. So, yep. I'll put this in the description. Oh, I need to buy a PJ. I need to try that. I'll put this mod in the description. So then, you guys can try it out. Or, well, I guess not try it out. You probably don't want this mod, but the stuff that's in it, you know, like that, that reflection stuff, all that, that'll be in there, so you can just take it out of there if you want. And you can place your model on top of this, change stuff around, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, back this up, here we go, it hooks up, you can pull stuff with it, let's just do that, because why not, why am I going into mods, I got tractors in the original game, there. it's gonna have a thing, why do the tractors have to be so expensive? I got this. Alright, I don't have my money cheat on. We're just doing this because we can. Oh, we just have enough to buy this. It's not the heaviest thing. I know this thing can pull one of those quad tracks pretty easily. I've never driven this thing in this game before. Never really played the original vanilla game much. Only for about 20 hours. Alright. Squatting a little bit. But it'll pull it. So yeah, that is what I have for you on the whole SketchUp situation. Um, yeah. In the next one, I, I don't know what I'll do. I want to do Blender stuff, but I don't know where to start. Like, if I should start with modeling. But modeling takes a long time, and I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. Tell me what you want to see next, actually. And I will do that. So, until then, I'll see you guys next time.